Hi. Oh, welcome to Excel Basic Plus. And here we got a list. And in order to find an overall average for these students, what can we do? Well, you can start with a, f a formula. Start with equal sign. And then start typing 65 plus uh, 99 plus 55 plus uh, 64 plus 87 plus 73 well, let's take a look right 75 99 64 87 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry there's uh, six items and well without that right just put that um, um right click and choose there well oh uh, you group this list right be using a oh a pair of parentheses and then divide using the forward slash to represent divide right divide so divide by how many number of um, subject right there are six so just the enter right so that's 73 let's take a look at 73 right so now how do I do this much faster right in the basics we tell you that you can use this average okay average now you can see that once you use the functions, things get faster, much faster. So much faster, right, much faster. And then now uh, if I change this value to uh, say English to uh, 78, right, and uh, things just change, right, but this does not change. Well, because this uh, type, it is fixed there, right, it does not change. So and another method you can use is actually using the cell address in this cell it represents column C row 3 99 it represents column C row 4 55 column C row 5 64 now just highlight it and then click on the cell to replace it 73 here right and then 6 how do you know that it's a 6, right? You can use a uh, functions to do a count. Use call count A or count will do. No, count A. Count A, right? Divide by count A. Select the range that, rep that store subject. And enter, right? 77 plus 6, right? And um, if I to instantly uh, format into this format, right? You can use a shortcut key, Control Shift, and then followed by a exclamation mark, right? Seventy-seven point six seven, right? So that's the value. Now, how do you um? Can you tell me what is the highest mark subject, right? So let's take a look here. Take a scan, right? This is uh oh yeah, it's max, right? Just put there max. Uh, how about highest max? So the highest max will be definitely six ninety-nine. Second highest subject. Um, that would be, let's take a look again, okay, that's your geography, um, right, geography, and then, um, second highest mark, right, uh, again, it's 57, right, but this is a short list, right, so, well, it just doesn't take much time, um, this is, let's continue to do on the next student, right, well, that is, this is still workable, right, uh, if, you only have five students but school don't have right school have so many students right so much so 50 students in the class so this takes really a lot of time right so welcome to the function and formulas right let's take a look at the second worksheet now the second worksheet is different right um we're gonna value here and um there's some formulas safe here right let's take a look here right? So highest max is max at the moment. Uh, highest max, right? Let's say in the max here, I change it to uh, say um, 80, 89. Now that's now look at that. We just change that, right? And the second max is this, right? And how about I change that to uh, 90? Now look at that again, right? So Excel is able to reflect the change and tell you what is the second highest, right? So, um, notice that I did not type history right here. 
right same goes to overall right and also you couldn't see the functions so this all you have to learn it in the function the formula of series and if you like if you want to be more efficient and if you want feel awesome right enroll my class function and formula PM me for the for the fees and the and the dates or I can organize a, a free a free class for school if you are a school right in Slango or organize right this is uh, part of a CSR program of creative wise thank you